Okay, we're going to try out these blades here to cut through the roof with shingles, plywood, and all. This is just a regular blade. It comes with a skill saw. What it does is it that tears it up going through asphalt. So I've got a big blue demolition blade. They make a five tooth and a three tooth, seven and a quarter inch standard one. This has got a very thick blade right here and a carbide tip that looks like it takes out roughly about three sixteenths. And I use that to cut through the complete over here, the complete plywood and the asphalt because this deck is shot on an old barn and I want to just remove the plywood and the shingles and just throw it in the junk pile. This is the part we've already done with titanium UDL half inch plywood on two foot centers. But we're going to go through and try out this new blade here. See if we can cut through. I'm going to put the safety glasses on. And we're going to come over here and cut some of this out. dip that's like that. Okay, there's a saw again. There's a five-sided blade I've been using. You got a three and a five. And there's completely cutting through an old deck. It's about 30 years old, all rotten. And three tab shingles. Now this part here was replaced after Hurricane Ivan in 2004. That's why it's got a fairly new piece. And then this other part over here is was actually built out of reject plywood. The guy bought this from used that. And it's you can fall right through. So there's no use. Uh, I'm just taking the whole deck off. So this tool here works real well just to cut through everything. It's way more, save a lot more time than what I did over here by removing manually and then trying to put them in bags. I've got them dumped in a dumpster overside here. We're going to put a four by piece of plywood up here. There's my... Okay, little note here. The way I'm doing this is not... I just learned something here. It takes me a while to learn something, but going uphill here, because the way I'm redoing this roof tends to catch under these. If you went downhill, you're not going to tend to catch the shingle tabs and stuff on this edge. So once I cut this through here, I've got a two by four I can stand on here. I just pull out these sections. You can just lift this up like this, pull it off. Then I throw that down in the junk pile. Here's a section that I just did that I went down. See, so it had no catching problems. That was much easier. Just took a cut all the way down to here. And I'll just throw out the big section. Go within about an inch or two of the rafter here. And then I just go ahead and you can just pull that off with the crowbar. Do a light cut through here. 
usually just busts off, it's so rotten, but I can just throw this entire section here into the trash bin. So I've done here, I've removed just a couple minutes here, done more than what it, this other thing was just a disaster when I did this last week. That's can leave it over. I got to put a something under there to hold that up. And there's the blower. Use the blower. I'm gonna you blow all that stuff off so you don't slide off the roof. A broom, a blower, are good friends on the roof because you prevent crap. It's easy to slide. There's a whole bunch of pieces removed with the saw blade. It's about two foot by either three to four. There's a piece of tin I remove. I usually put the things diagonally. They're not nailed down. There's a visual clue, so if I walk around, I'm not going to go on that and fall off the darn roof, which is easy to do. That's why the broom is your friend. You know you need to redo a roof. You've got metal patches with X's meaning you don't stand there and then you have the rafters marked in paint so you know the step only there right where the saw is it'll you go right through there's an area here that already went through there's limbs here in this area they'll come down and go through unfortunately Probably the deck needs to be one inch plywood, built like a fortress. Also going to have to be vacuumed out. I got to put new insulation in this area here, get all the junk out of there. This is the first four foot up. I'm going to go another four feet up.